yeah, and I just realized that the floor is literally like black with paint, which is just kind of, you know, yeah, I guess it's interesting. It just, it feels like time, you know, that's literally just kind of hours and days and months just walking back and forward in front of the paintings. And um, yeah, so I was just feeling a bit nostalgic the other day thinking this is kind of like the last, yeah, the last time I'm kind of going to be up and down this sheep track, as Dad calls it. Um, yeah. So it feels exciting, yeah. We're in my painting studio um, in Te Whanganui Atara, um, near Shelley Bay, well, in Shelley Bay, um, and yeah, I'm here surrounded by um, kind of daunting piles of white canvas because about to make a big show. Um, and yeah, we just thought we'd have a conversation now as we're starting and in that kind of place of um, unknowing and mystery. And uh, yeah, and then touch base again at the end once the work's made. I think we've been here for about three years. Yeah, so it feels very strange, the thought that this is like the last show that I get to make in here. Yeah, over time, it's kind of like the space, it's like the cave where you work. When we first came in here, um, I remember it took ages for a painting to work. Yeah, like I was kind of working pretty much full time for three months and nothing worked. Like every single painting I made was, it was just, it just didn't happen. It didn't hold together. It was kind of, yeah, just quite disastrous and, um, that often happens like when I move studio and I think it's kind of just like it just takes ages for it's like a bit of a cauldron you know and you've got to get it um it's almost like just your body has to kind of become the space you have to get to know each other or something and then in the middle of that just seems to take ages before the paintings actually start turning up but then when they do like now it feels like there's a bit of a slipstream in here like I just kind of come in and instantly I'm just in it Yeah, that's an interesting question. The more that I've been working, the more I now try not to kind of go into that too much. Like, it's like just keep it quite practical because um, all of that stuff happens anyway, but it's like the more that I get into thinking about or wondering about what is gonna come or who they're gonna be or how they're gonna be, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but so now what I realize is like, just almost try and stay quite, not cold, but quite neutral about it all. Um, and then until I'm in the painting, and then even like until I'm in the like, you know, second or third day of a painting, that's when I start having a kind of real emotional thing with it, or that's when I start kind of really watching to see where it's going, because it's quite an equal relationship, you know, making a painting. Like I've got to have, I put my part in and then I feel like there's the painting kind of puts its part and then we just wrestle it out. Totally feel like I'm in therapy actually. Oh my god, actually. No, it's good, it's good. Oh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Wilmore <laughs> therapy session. <laughs> This was where the disaster zone happened. Anyway, <laughs> oh, um, it's like all my like blood and guts on the floor. That's how it feels.
And I'm sort of right now sitting in the middle of it, like sitting in the middle, I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about like 15 works and I'm just a bit naked. I like feel exhausted, I have bags under my eyes. I'm just like wrecking everything. And yeah, it's not actually that glamorous. <laughs> So ultimately it's like I'm not trying to paint a, a painting of someone, I'm trying to paint a, a painting of a sensation or of a feeling or of a, a sort of state of being or something And because that's sort of what is, that's what I get curious about and that's what I feel like the painting gets curious about and so in that process, you know, like if you drag a big knife down the side of a, a face through the mouth, um, something can go from like quite a relaxed, serene thing to suddenly that, that drag of paint is like, oh, the mouth the mouth has dropped open, you know? And then the, the whole, you know, that subtlety of read, like that just radically changes what is the emotional landscape of what's happening there, which is what's so fascinating to me. And then I'm like, oh, whoa, who are you? Okay, wow, okay. And then it's like, you're, you're trying to help them be that but then something will happen and the paint will slip and you're like oh my god it's, so it's such a uh, it's such a unknown it's just such a dance of like not having any idea but then also having to be kind of assertive enough to try and hold what's starting to happen we're so literate at reading um yeah, all sorts of aspects of you know body language and things but in terms of faces and like just the flicker of an eye or a slight, you know, turn of a mouth. We have such a sophisticated ability to read faces, and um, which makes them so amazing to like paint and work with. And then when you get that distance, and it's not until you get that distance away from them that the paintings, um, you know, that you get a sense of the form. Yeah, for me, is a lot about that process around, yeah, um, transition, healing, you know, it's like it, you never, when you're up close to something, it always feels messy and, and that's, it's meant to feel messy and, you know, it's not until you kind of get that space or that distance that it's like, oh yeah, that's what was going on there, you know, or that's where you can see the form or that's where you can see that, that emotional language or whatever kind of finds itself again. Got the palette knife and just went to do the last mark on the painting. And I was like, okay, yeah, boom, that's it. Stepped back from the painting. And as I stepped back, it was just like this devastating slow-mo where I was like, oh, the whole painting came back with me. And I was, yeah, just looking at the wall, just looking at like going, the painting is supposed to be on the wall. And then, yeah, it was like face first on the ground. Then the next day we were going up to look at this um, land where we're moving to up north and um, and I hadn't been thinking because that's not when we're moving so I wasn't sort of thinking anything like that's the big change over time but then the next day and I this was just a mess in here and I didn't have time to empty the bins and I said to Tommy hey it's like real fumey in there can you just empty them before you come up and so the last minute before we went to the airport he came in and got the dragged the bucket out and went to put his hands in to start emptying it and was like what the it's like it was burning and so quickly and smelt really weird he raced it outside and got the hose and started spraying this bucket and um so it was steaming it was like and so it was like literally combusting like the whole everything was combusting and um and yeah the whole inside of all the bin was like fully charcoal like it was you know, it was about to literally any minute burst into flames. And we were away for three days, you know, so this is like, the whole show is in here. You know, like if that hadn't happened, if he had missed that little second to be able to do it, we would have, the whole thing would have burnt down and it's just this crazy, <sighs> anyway. So I think there was something about us. Um, it was kind of like the studio is really amazing in the sense that that's this, I think we were talking about, but, you know, last time you were here about that thing of you can kind of take quite a long time to build the energy in a place to be able to work where it's all sort of like that big cauldron starts happening. But then it was like, I hadn't realised that we're going up this place to, you know, build this different studio and 
Clearly the whole thing had shut down and so I was still planning to paint for a whole other week and I came in here, I was like, there is no, I mean, you could not get a clearer message. You know, it's like, it's over. And that's that funny thing of how, um, yeah, how shows often happen. I sort of feel like I'm just warming up and it's like I'm in the middle of them and then it's like, suddenly I realise, oh, it's done. That's it. You know, it's just, it's just such a, it's a funny old thing. Yeah. <laughs>